Hi guys. In this lesson, we are going to look at one more very important PuTTY setting that you might need in real time whenever you are working with PuTTY. Many new administrators who work with PuTTY, they often have this problem that PuTTY timeout is very fast. That means PuTTY will auto disconnect from the server very fast. Now this happens because if there is no activity on your PuTTY terminal, let's take you connected to the server and you're you're taking a break or maybe you're talking to someone, it will disconnect from the server because there was no activity from your end. Now how can you keep your session alive because it will be very hard to connect to the server again and again, right? Now in this case PuTTY has a built-in setting and if you click on this connection, you can see there is something called as keep alive interval. Now by default, you can see zero to turn off. Your keep alive intervals are turned off. What I can do is I can change it to maybe one, two or three. And what PuTTY will do is after every three seconds, it will send a blank packet or a blank command to the server and it will keep your session alive. It won't let your session die. So this setting is again very important for frequent PuTTY disconnects from the server. Make sure you have at least one, two or three seconds. Don't try to put five or 10 seconds. Sometimes what happens is if you put 10 or 15 seconds, but your server timeout is just five seconds. So I mean, it will never happen, but just in case, make sure the blank packets are sent at every, uh, I mean, as small internet interval as possible. So in this case, I choose to put three. Then what I would do is I'll go back to session, click on default setting and click on save. Now what will happen is let's take, I connect to a server 49.207.1.90. 166. Now in this case, let's take I am logging into the server as a root user. Now I am connected to the server even if I go talk to my friends, I go on a break and come back. The PuTTY will be sending a blank packet to the server every three seconds so that my session will be alive. It will not be dead or I will not get the session timeout errors very frequently.